ever. All right, here we go, y'all. So we've been showing you. We've been showing you a bunch of um, bunch of play style. Got quick presentation going on. Got five minute quarters. Not too long. You know, I just wanna start this game, show you guys the patch in real time football. The Texans playing the uh, the Tennessee Titans. Okay, and um. And I just want to show you guys, you know, the way that Madden play for real when, when it's passed and everything's not broken anymore, right? For the people that controls your game, it's completely turned off. You have full control over a physics-based simulation-style football game. And we're going to go ahead and rock out. Um, if you like what you see, we are filming live here. So if you like what you see, definitely um, subscribe to the channel because we're going to be teaching everyone how to get this embedded into their game in about three or four days from now which is still testing some things out you know what I'll, I'll test that in a second but uh but for the most part everything is it's done for the most part <clears throat> but let's go here we go kick off full effect let's, um, let's rock and roll Nickel. Watson on first down. He rifles Dang. one that's intercepted. Picked up by the USC Manadori Jackson. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47 yard line in enemy like I territory. Control over him. Before the possession switches here, I had written down that I wanted to talk about some of the awards this past season in the NFL. We know Brady was the MVP, but Todd Gurley, offensive <coughs> player of the year. How about that for a bounce back? Hold on, y'all. I want to, um, I think I want to fix these. I want to turn the injuries up. Questioning whether he had a sophomore slump the season before, didn't even get to a thousand yards, was a dominant force in 2017. How about his teammate Aaron Donald yeah. on the defensive side? He took home defensive player of the year. Yeah, very impressive. They had both sides of the ball. Sean McVay deserving, I think you would agree, of coach of the year. Yeah, definitely. I mean, what he did for the Rams Never played when they went from last to the league in scoring, um, leading the like league that. in scoring, and winning a division title. But uh, and how about the Saints? Out. Rookie of the year, offense and defense. Alvin Kamara on offense, Marshawn Lattimore on defense. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. The turnover put them in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. On third down, Henry. And he's going to have the first down yardage <laughs> to the 35. First down, Titans gain of 12. That O line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. Yeah. That's because that O line cleared a big hole on that run. Check it out. Look at the O line. Number 67 pulled. This was the same play we did in practice, remember? Number 88, my lead blocker. Boom, boom. All I had to do was beat this dude, and I can do it with speed because speed plays a part when you fix your game. You know, so that was a great play right there. To evolve, and we're seeing it here. Now we have to be out we have to feel good, man. But they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. I'll we'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. <laughs> Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action. Hit them over the top. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. 
sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook they come to life <laughs> out on the field don't they and we just saw that, that now this guy right here right. stocker right he's going to pull up to the, to the, does, to the right here so I'm, I'm following him right up the middle just a yard on the first down carry so it's second and nine I'm wondering, part if they might need to sub him out for a play or two because after that long run he just had on the previous play, he might not have all of his breath back. Yeah, they went right back to that well. Different result. And oh, man. Drop, but he dropped it in the end zone. <sighs> this is the downfall of playing a physics-based football game <clears throat> because he has this ball in his hand, right? But look, it hit his body before he secured it. And that's why I was able to come out of there. Boom, see his arm. That arm hit that ball right out of there. So it hit his body before he could it throw it They're behind him. Group, and we just saw it there on that He'd play. have probably caught. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Now Mariota. And this will be caught. It's Matthews for the Tennessee touchdown. <laughs> Rashard Matthews, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Titans have taken a first-quarter lead. And that's exactly what you're supposed to do with good field position. You make the other side pay when you don't have far to go for the score. What's up? So we came out. I did not mean to do this. And before the snap here, we've got a timeout by the offense. It's their first of this first half. And they'll get together and talk this one over. And this is good. Dang. Our score, seven nothing, Tennessee. <clears throat> All right, cool. Now here's Suck about to kick it away. Suck about though. This is fielded at the chalk of the ten. <laughs> And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Charles, let's step into a conversation about Houston All right, so let's step into a conversation about the Frostbite here, engine while we're sitting here watching me play this game. Games, All right, so um, just to let y'all know what's going on, right, with the Frostbite engine versus the United Engine. Now, Madden 17, they had the Ignite engine. Remember that? They switched over to the Frostbite engine. The reason they did the switch... <laughs> It's because on the Ignite engine, it didn't have a um, physics base. Uh, it didn't have a physics system in it, an advanced physics system in it, and it also didn't have advanced footprint technology. All right, I'm going to talk about footprint technology first. Footprint technology is, is the most... Will be high in 2018. But my knowledge is amazing. High. It's just this: if if I'm pursuing and he stopped and I miss, I gotta plant my feet. And I gotta turn back around. See, I'm over pursuing again. He's spent, and so it's not gonna it's not gonna go into these canned animation tackles. If a person can't put their hands on you, they can't tackle you. So you can shake and bake and move. Boom. He spent then. Boom. See, if they can't put their hands on you, they can't tackle you. And so that allows for a, um, that, that's what footprint technology is. On the Ignite engine, it was all animation based. It wasn't actually physics based. So if a person was actually this close to each other, like, um, like this here, if a person is this close, you know, this is going to trigger an animation automatically. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but you don't want it to trigger an animation because you can get out of here. And especially down here, when he 10 yards behind the line of scrimmage, you definitely don't want to trigger an animation here because he's going to get tackled. 
You know what I'm saying? So again, his momentum spent. You know, definitely not there. Boom. So you got to actually tackle the dude in order. I mean, put your hands on the dude in order to tackle him. So the ignite engine wasn't would trigger animations and and, and moments, whereas though frostbite has a has physics mechanics based into it with foot plant technology and all these good things so you don't have to trigger a certain animation you can base the whole game off of physics gameplay and animations is only triggered animations is only triggered doing the tackle which means that it's going to be animated so it can look realistic, not animated based to, to determine the outcome, if that makes sense. Right. And uh, your boy doing just like he be doing, whoever that quarterback is down there. Also nominated and finalist for the most prestigious award as determined by the okay. NFL. Okay, so that's one thing about the Crossbite Engine. We got physics based action system and it has um, foot plant technology, right? And this allows you to play football like a real person, like a, like a real human being. Okay. The second thing that it does very well is that it doesn't script plays. Okay, now the reason. The reason the game feels like you have no control over it when you're playing is because you haven't activated the physics. Okay? When you activate the physics, every single, pre, every single component embedded in the game, even the goal post, from the goal post to the, um, to the actual uh, ball, crowd, has its own physics engine embedded into it like the program is actually programmed it into it so the ball don't have a mind of its own anymore you know what i mean the ball doesn't care that's why i was able to catch these two interceptions it doesn't care if if um who catches the ball right it doesn't care it doesn't it doesn't have own his own mind so if the computer's sitting there making mistakes they just make a mistake you know i'm gonna capitalize no on the mistakes they make because they sure enough will capitalize on the mistake that you make you understand what i'm saying <clears throat> and so he was able to capitalize on both of those mistakes that they had made i shouldn't be playing the Texans. i should have been playing somebody else so, This is fielded at the chalk of the ten. And nice work on the return okay. as they start their drive just past the 30 yard line. CD, I want to get you. If we start blowing them out, y'all, we're going we to start this over and I'm going to play like the Patriots or somebody. Now, caution, the Eagles, many of these guys could be resigned, I know, but who are some of them? Kirk Cousins is one. one. Yeah, we're talking about difference makers. Kirk Cousins at the quarterback position. He's going to be coveted around the league for by quarterback needy teams. Case Keenum had a big year. Could he move? That. But how about running backs? Le'Veon Bell, Deion Lewis, some pass catchers, Jimmy Graham, Jarvis Landry, Sammy Watt. And about the guy who goes and gets All quarterbacks, right. Demarcus Lawrence so had a monster year. Why do your game play? Season. Why don't your game play like that? That's the question that everybody asks. Why your game aren't playing? Isn't playing in a way that makes it feel like a real simulation football? Like I feel like I like. I, let me show y'all something. For instance, right? Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side. We're gonna do an overstorm break. We rushing three, able to shut three down people. Play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I feel now. like I got total control. Situation. Over this whole situation, like over my complete man. Throwing on third down, Watson. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw. So I don't feel like I'm being held up at the line or they doing things that I can't Let's get out of. Get like if they the if, the, if the they hold me, they gonna hit. call hold. Right you know, there. so you, you got to total control over your over your players, over the men on the field. Nothing is out of reach. 
And problem spreading to the punt team now. So why don't your game play like this? The zone on the fly, so come back because man, the when EA Sports released man to the public, every year they do it, right? When they release the game, they try to cater. They was more obvious this year because they even got it when you first start the game up. When you boot the game up, even actually if you want to be simulation style football, if you want to arcade, if you want competitive mode, that's what they tell you, right? And then they had, and then when you pick one of those those options, it's, you're telling the game make the game play like this for me. So you're telling them give me full control. You see what I'm saying? But the, the problem is is that there's no way to not pick one of those options. You understand what I'm saying? And so you gotta we, what we did we figured out a way on how to not pick one of those options on how to make sure that you know that the game plays at, at its raw data which means that it turns off and I call it Skynet right but it turns off the animation based system that's in the game animation dominant system ah, that's in the game oh the collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down uh, that was taking a chance I needed turns off the animation powered system that I mean animation based system that powers the game and so you see look at the line just look at the line this is a this is how a pocket's supposed to supposed to look. See what I'm saying? A man come across, I throw it a little bit underneath. Bang, he catches it. He gets spins around. And that that's how that ball came out. Boom. Man, that's pretty. You know what I'm saying? And so when you turn it off, throw, you're telling when 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 we turned it off, we're saying we want the game to play at its raw data, really, really which means well that y'all have programmed this game to play like right. to, to simulate real football. But you got all these features and all types of stuff controlling the outcomes of the game. You know what I'm saying? And so when, when all of those things are happening, like when all that stuff is turned on, like you 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 bound to get anything happening. Everybody looks clunky, the men be looking like they doing the, the cubic shuffle with the feet. Like it's just it's just a bad looking game because the game is trying to determine pretty much everything on its own. It's trying to determine what should be what. You know what I'm saying? So what we did, we turned it off. You notice how the defense made an adjustment that time. They wasn't letting like, me get my passes off. This defense can use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And now what he was hoping for there is this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. <clears throat> so the football so, switching um, hands here in just a second. And, you know, Tom Brady, just to go off on a tangent for a second, may have lost the Super Bowl. So, um, MVP this so we turned it off. <clears throat> and when you turn it off, you find that right, all the player the ratings are now all of a sudden activated. You find that you can have mismatches. I shouldn't have hit stick. <laughs> you find that you can now that you, you can exploit mismatches, which means that if your man runs at the 87 and my run man runs at the 92, that's a mismatch. I'm gonna beat you all day long. If your man is, 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 is let me see this play real quick. If your man is not um, strong and my man is stronger than yours, that's a mismatch taller faster more agility everything they got the cramp out of me with the play but i but see how i, I bought number 59 around and i made the tackle but he got it off just in time bang and i shouldn't have went for the tackle because it's not based it's not it's an animation it's not based on that it's not going to lock these people up if i can't touch them i can't tackle them boom here i goes for his stick and that was it that did it right there. Freed him up. You know. So um didn't work out there. No, because when you give up the big run after catch the rack yardage, that puts your defense in a big time stressful position. A lot and of so, so, and so that's one of the things that get that, that that gets activated. The um the kickoff unit is out on the field. The ratings and all the mechanics. Right? 
another thing that's embedded Here's into the frog fight engine is, is read and react football um, so, okay which means that that, that allows your blockers that allows your men on the field that allows everybody to read the play and react accordingly Time to shake things up a little bit. Like they real life counterparts would be acting so, you so you're not going to see your blockers you sitting here making dumb decisions. So if you see my, my blocker else, here, Saka, right? He's going to block over players. here near wall. So when I hike this ball, that's exactly where Saka's going. Right? Which allows me to run my play or like an organized football team. That's what it allows us to do. You know what I'm saying? So, the offense now so with that being said, and seven. the read and react, you don't have to worry about your member making dumb plays. And that, you can make adjustments on the field knowing that as you're playing the game. I knew that. That defensive end. To change momentum, big play, I mean, that defensive hand. back. Going the back over there, going up. Relief, he, no he, let's, let's, let's show that again. Show you how it's reading. Because if y'all, if I don't show it to y'all, then y'all won't, y'all won't notice the difference. This is smart play by this, by this lineman. I mean, by this cornerback. He's looking at the quarterback. He's looking at the lineman, right? Now my man didn't come off the fit, off the line heavy, so he said, okay, cool. He just, he's just mimicking him. I mean, not mimicking him, but he reading them. I cut, he cut. Then guess what he do? He looks at the ball, see where it's coming from. Boom, and he makes a play on it. I'm glad he didn't pick it. And the reason why he didn't pick it, because it was coming fast, see? It was like real, real, real quick. It was real quick by the time he looked at it. So it, he didn't he went, he didn't have time to pick it. But um, he could have he could have picked it. Okay. So that's what I'm talking about when it comes to reading the Gat football. Rashard Matthews. That's a mismatch. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. That's a first. Boom. Now here's, this, this is what I mean by the mismatch. First okay. half that leaves us. We're going to look at um these two players over here. Number 18, number 30. See how much faster he is? I'm pretty sure he he way faster than the suit. I'm 18 is way faster than number 30. And we're going to take a look at it in the depth chart. Right? So we got number 18. <clears throat> Matthews running the speed of 89 with an acceleration of 90. So he accelerates really fast off the line and he got an 89 speed almost identical. We can look at this back. Johnson speed of 88 which is a point slower and acceleration of 89 which which is um a point slower you understand what I'm saying so that means he is a step slower than that dude and that's just that's pretty much all you need is that little bit of speed once he ran up can still once he ran up to try to um Oh, wait, yeah. Think about that play. And he bumped me on the line. Boom. Gave me the step. See that? And I'm accelerating at the 90, which is why I was able to cut, get a step, get a step. Because he got to read it. He can't mimic it. He got to see me cut and then react to it. Free me up. Boom. See that? So. <clears throat> you can you're going to be able to exploit mismatch and that's not quarter. just what wide receivers and, and defensive backs that's over. that's also with you know linemen with like got players like Vaughn Miller you know what I mean or Julius Tuck they, they beast mode on the inside so they're going to play like that like they are you know what I mean like you're going to be able to see now elite wide receivers like Julio Jones and and uh, that boy named the play for the uh, Giants. 
Now the Texans <coughs> offense, they head back so, out to do battle here. And last when the game is playing like this, and this, one, this, this is one of I'm not even going to call it right. easy right and now because exactly I already know how at the halftime we just start making the adjustments exactly what you want on and it gets tough. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was fairly easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. Okay, we'll see if it's that easy here. They were trying to get the connection with a former Buckeye, Braxton so, Miller. <coughs> when, you turn, when, you, when you turn on um, the read and react football, activate all the rating. You notice that the game starts just playing. And they certainly have kept them on the start playing great. Yes, it's a little bit more. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. Hold on, let me look at your comment. You just said something. So I couldn't hear it. <laughs> What's up, uh, Bubba? <laughs> Oh, which is just sitting here recording my um, my Madden video. A first down carry now for Miller. Oh, there he See? goes inside the 30. And he's going to get you this can't. way down right to the edge. <laughs> you cannot underestimate this game. Man. Three yards on the pickup. <laughs> Hit me with a main spin move. Boom. Bang. Wow. There and a first. And that's how that that's how that broke down. <laughs> so I'm saying. So footprint technology is in full effect right there. Here. This is Deontay Foreman. Get him. 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 They trying to tie this game up. But they trying to score again because it's exactly caught out. They needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Black round. Black round. On first down, it's Watson. He couldn't Get out of there. hold it. Got hit. Ball <coughs> pops out. Incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the there scoreboard. Watson going to give this one to Miller. Mm -hmm. And he'll take this from the nine. Right, so the, the are seven. we stopping him? We're going to stop him. Partner, I know we're in a goal to go situation, but my goodness. Think about <laughs> running the ball here. Not even a thought, is yeah, it? Defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. That's you might want to try throwing it. it. Expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. Come on, let's go! Now Watson on third and goal. Mm -hmm. He tried to scramble and think he's going to run it up in there. Mm -hmm. No, you're not. The field goal would be happy. And that'll bring up fourth down. And his kick is good. And that will give the disadvantage now back down to 11. So the drive stalls out, but they are able to put three points on the board. Yeah, just a yard or two shorter than an extra point. So no problems converting there. This will be taken about the 12. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Yeah, so I right, really want to can't express more than enough that once you apply the ultimate like man pass to your game, that your, that your game is going to just play like a well-oiled machine. Right, it doesn't make a difference what year you're playing in. Throw for Mariota. To the sideline, wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Oh, Give him a couple on the catch in second and eight. All right, say it with me now. There are a lot of different words we come up with. Maybe we go back and forth after that play, getting his toes tapped down to make that catch. 
Crafty. Yep. Mismatch over there with Matthew. Definitely all the veteran names. You name it. Has every move in the book. And can nobody in front. Rashard Matthews. Touchdown, Titans. Mismatch over there with Matthews. Matthews. On his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Titans find a way to stretch their lead. So not only is that his third touchdown catch of the game, he's done it here in the first half. I'm not sure defensively what they're going to come up with to slow him down. Because I had already a, we're seeing him run I haven't been through the like this in a long time. In <coughs> I guess because I'm playing these, um, I mean, these kind of things. These, um, so maybe it'll touches. open things up for some other people. Well, they better figure something out and soon. And now out comes Houston. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. Oh, my goodness. We also have to remember they did put Lamar Miller, the 30, 10, 5. And oh, so close as he takes it all the That's way to the two-yard line. A big time <clears throat> play there for the Texans. You have to be extremely Seven. careful when you sitting there all willy nilly happy with the diving tackles. Because if you miss, like I just did with the hit stick, it's a wrap. But see, this is where the speed comes into play. This is where speed plays a part. You know what I mean? Because number 37 faster than. Faster than him. That's why he was able to catch him. Boom. <laughs> the three yards. <laughs> this game is not going to be just a walk in the park. If that's what y'all thinking. Watson. And he's going to go down just outside Good of the shot. five, right around the six yard line. Derek Morgan. Need y'all to see that, uh, Tackle. Boom. See I see I got caught up, tangled up in this man. Cause when he tried <laughs> when he tried to turn around and run, boom. And his man got him sacked. Cause body parts play a part. Body plot body parts matter now. You can't just morph and shift through people. Like it's not gonna happen. On second down, here's Watson. Ah, give me that. It's incomplete. Well, <clears throat> was the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. Trying to, trying to intercept that ball, man. Tick off when they talk about, hey, what is going to take to You're make an get up in the end zone. I don't care how many times you get up here on the side, y'all. Talk about arm strength. That's great. Mobility, great. But you need that accuracy in there. That one well in front of his man. Yeah, now they got to face a big third down. Give him a couple on the run there. And now they're in that in-between area here on fourth and goal. Now another timeout here called they by the Titans. They're going to try and run down the whole clock. They're going to try. They're going to try use these 44 seconds. For the second time here today. From the left half should be a fairly easy one here. And his kick is indeed good. <clears throat> and that'll get the deficit down to 15. So give them three there. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they couldn't punch it in. And credit this defense, too. That was the old bend but don't break approach. But it kept the offense out of the end zone. And they'll be set pretty Texas. nicely oh, here as they head up now. to the 35-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal You're going to play a series of games, though, because I want to show you all. You're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points, it's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big time one right now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does, because oftentimes it translates to your defense as well, because they're excited about getting the ball back. Well, they are clicking right now. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. You know, they got them two safeties out there playing that cover two now. A first down carry for Henry. Busting through contact. 
Just wasn't a huge hole there for him to operate. Stopped just inside the 35-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second Go, and two. I can, uh, so we reach halftime <clears> here <throat> with the visiting Titans taking the lead in the intermission. As we send you over to our headquarters in Orlando, where we check in with Larry Ridley for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. <clears throat> Both teams have we got it on quick presentation, that's why I didn't go through halftime and all that type of stuff. Seems like I got time for all that. I'm just it's trying to show y'all game take for it. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Titan offense now working their way back onto the field. This yeah, is cool. sort of what you would call a put away drive, isn't it? Yeah, they score here, here, especially a touchdown. Drive. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know mm -hmm. the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team. That their drive and will to come back and win Pretty quick. can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, the cheater and Matthew is again on the mismatch. Thought they better learn. First and ten. Here's Mariota. He's going to air it out deep. This is caught inside the 15. That goes for a gain of 31. Really good recognition of the offensive line of the blitz. They picked it up, allowed for more time to throw the ball deep downfield, and a big time completion. Now a play fake here on first down. And complete to the tight end Walker right side. <laughs> and he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win? Oh. Looking to hit Matthews, but it's intercepted. Oh, they made an adjustment. The former first-round pick, Kevin Johnson. And he will take it out to oh, the they made an adjustment. I, I just knew he was going to be over there by himself. I mean, you know, just just them two. I just thought it was going to... Look at that. Look at all this space. But they bought all three. They bought dude off the line and everything. Look at that. They was, they was expecting it. All three of them. See, that? that's what I'm saying, y'all. That read and react. We was burning him all game like that. And now it bit us. Boom. Look at that. That's how the defense do. They make adjustments on the fly. It's like they was baiting me in the door. It or something. Into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Looking middle. Incomplete. And he still yeah. doesn't have a catch. We're into the second half. I think it's a little bit of a surprise to me, but that was one he should It feels so that good to play a Madden game right there, without Madden, without it, without it cheating, without it doing all these dumb stuff, all this dumb stuff. Like it feels really again, refreshing. He's got to complete to Braxton Miller, and he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A very solid gain of 27. Yeah. Ohio. Ohio. They'll run it now out of the gun. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. But these guys going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage will be found. Here's Watson now on second. Get down. Watson. Oh. Avoids him at the 40. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> nice gain of 21 yards. This little quarterback. But that's what I mean with doing real life. This little dude. Look at this. He outran my dude. I missed the tackle. He gonna juke my man. Texans up front. In Good. comes the flag. Check four, check four. Here I go. 
a stack from Woodward. Here's Watson. And he works it to the 30 yard line here, right at the 30. You need to blitz. A gain of six there on first. Many teams, as soon as they spot man defense, if they haven't called a hitch, they'll get to it as fast as they can. They want to put the ball in the hands of one of their best playmakers and hope that he can break a tackle on the outside and go for big yardage. This is Miller, and he'll take this inside the 30 yard line. Y'all might have to break the 28 yard line. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Here we go. One, nine, now Watson to throw on third down. Well, he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds, so a big... big call there, that brings up fourth. A third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but. All right, we're going to see if he was out of bounds. Let's see. Do it right in that corner. He tried to get in. He tried to stay in there. Look at that. But his, his foot just touched right out. Dang. <laughs> that was so crazy. Yeah, it's the field goal yeah, right that's here. That's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. If they call rough in the kicker. Oh my well, we gosh. Each other right away. We flag that's coming a, that is, and I always enjoy the not. conversation post <laughs> because officials always tell you, I don't Oh, he whacked with that. <laughs> he whacked. He flopped. He gonna flop on him. But you caused the play. You did it. I had to. <laughs> In the red zone this time. I said the dove. I said just let him kick the field goal. Here's Watson. Option left. And holding it may be the wrong decision. As he stopped to the backfield. It's a loss of yeah, four there. Your, bringing your, up your, your second your down. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know. Defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it and they want to take it big. And they got, got it him. there on the option play for a loss. Even with the good move he showed, he'll be brought down short of the 15. Call it a gain of two as time has run out. On this third quarter of play. Yeah, but are we going to win this Back game? No, now at the home no of Super problem. Bowl 51 in RG Stadium in Houston. I did not talk to Texans teams, on third down. A pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. This is third down thing. and 12. They'll run it again with Miller. No gain on the play there, and they'll bring up fourth down. And there's a nice stop for the defense. They've had a tough time containing this guy all game long. Maybe they can build a little bit off of that play, a little bit of confidence, a little bit of momentum. Yeah, every now and then you can actually tackle that guy. Back to throw, Watson. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Braxton Miller. 16 yard touchdown. Wow. And the Texans cut into that lead. Brandon. And I, um, look at my man. I tripped all over my dude. <laughs> I tripped. Make no sense. Bing. <laughs> We just saw there were two guys gave me more time to throw the ball when I tripped because I had no pressure on him. Trying the to prevent the field, trying to prevent the touchdown. It results in a terrific play. And it's good. So y'all see so that? that I'm laying on the ground. Score. Kick a flop. Right. Setting out to kick this one away and off it goes. And then they 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 they, they capitalize on it. Twenty eight points. 
<laughs> so get on down there. That's why I'm telling you, the wind is not locked into any animation. That's the idea. It's going to be an epic. I got to play. Smart ball. Once it threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does him no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just Take run the football and be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. Now, that is his game, and that's what they're going to do. Whole game, y'all. Whole, whole game, but no flaw. Second down. Defensively, no doubt they need a quick stop. A whole game with no flaws. Maybe do you put it in the air on second down, or do you go ahead and keep it on the ground and keep that clock moving? A lot of people would ask that question, partner, because so sometimes my man can get it. the ball might actually be the path of least resistance. But in this case, it's a matter of trust. How much do you trust your quarterback? Because you throw the ball and it goes awry, you really don't look... He was rushing two men. Got the ball off. Boom. If he'd have got there a second earlier, they'd have got me through the head. Smart as a coach. Yeah, and then you stop that clock. And now a first down following that long game. Mariota now. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the mm -hmm. end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Mariota gives to Henry, and he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line the after a pickup of about three. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. It's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. It's a little bit more pressure on your big oh, offensive man. line. No gain on the play. And what to do now on fourth and goal? Now this feels like old school football because this has turned into a good old fashioned goal line stand. So on offense, what do you do now? Do you decide to run it or throw it if you go for it on fourth down? So a big one there is that gives them a little cushion. And you know, here in the fourth quarter, the fact that they were able to bleed some time off the clock and put points on the board, even if it's only three, that could turn out to be the drive that ultimately wins them the game. And yep. now out comes Houston. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch up, every possession becomes crucial. Right, so, it's you know, get back out on the field. The, um, the major, the major again, point that I want to make for this easy, video end is that them, we've been playing, time, we've been playing a broken man as a defense. community well, for as long as we can remember, guys. Like in, and I see countless videos being made on the internet, on YouTube, saying how mad is broken and how mad can't be fixed. And we need they need competition on the on the um any competition so that they can make better games and all the kind of stuff. And which I agree, I agree with all that. But they ain't got him. But the uh, the game isn't broken anymore it's just the fact that they release it with the animation system on you got to turn it off and then reach physical system and once you do that now a desperation throw deep downfield and that one was nearly picked not sure he was accounting for the free safety break once you do that you get to look at the game And I, and I put him in position of trying to intercept it. But again, your man have to be, like they gotta be real, it has to be real life. Boom. Just missed that interception. Based on how his body was turned. Bang. That would've been a user pick. Up third down. The Texans on third down. They're struggling. They Over went for it. six thus far. This will be third and 19. Let's go! Let's 
from the gun. Here's Watson. He's going to let it fly. It's caught inside oh the 25. <laughs> it's a big play on third down for the Texans. 41 yards. See, that's what I'm talking about. Look how they're playing like a, like a real game. Like they really. On first and 10, Watson. Throw's going to be incomplete. He was looking to get it to his running back, Lamar Miller, and it's second down. They really can like it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? Like I mean, like, that one came in. Like it's the moment came in in the game, and overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Going again on second and ten. Watson, and this will be incomplete. <laughs> I swear to goodness, if they're not playing the just like the Texans playing real life, I don't know what it is. This, that this position is, get swapped this out is with great. A, wide receiver like, it's in amazing that spot, how running back in that spot, there it's really limiting this thing. Oh my goodness. I couldn't even turn my man around in time. Dang, we ain't even able to see that, that play again. Maybe we can. Watson looks to throw again. Get up. And this is he just passed it. He just passed the Richard Cole. It's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, <laughs> so let's sort this out. Down <laughs> try, in this one, they need to get me, though. He tried to get me. Because, <laughs> see, I said nope, because that's what I was playing. And they did almost the same similar similar play. I said, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait. Now he passed his line of scrimmage. Now I'll go after him. So if you do make it, it's a if legal forward pass. <laughs> that score, but they'll have to hold at least for the time being. You're exactly right. Points that they had to have, as you said, they have to regroup now and see if they can get them another way. Nope, can't get them another way because we ain't now. We about to do a pick six on this one. And movement here <laughs> by one of the Texans up front. In comes the flag. All right. Black Brown, Black Brown. Again, it's Watson. Oh, it man. For a late I let him do it. There's only 43 seconds okay, left on the clock. Looks like you got this game. Score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side. Get that high hop. I hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, you get that hands team point. ready. No doubt about it. I don't Bill know Marcus, since his new two-point rule came into play, offense has spent a lot more time working on it. That means the defenses are doing the exact same thing. And the Titans are going to come up with it. And that should just about do it. And here comes Tennessee uh, as they, they try get set to take the field. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they, they had needed some, uh, the football elite back. Cornerback. Unfortunately, they couldn't some better cornerbacks on the field. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still Hold waiting to see off. that number is empirical. Well, maintain our, maintain our lead. I don't know how to get this again. Going here, Mariota. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. Well, now the Texans are going to stop it as they signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Now a handoff to Henry. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They'll run it again with Henry. And they'll lose yardage here. Oh, Knocked man. back to the 19-yard line. <laughs> and now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. It'll be their third and final timeout. So as they talk things over, we'll see. Because they can still win the game. They're they thinking about it. 
sheds off the tackle. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. It's a pickup of 13, and with that 13 yards, this ball game just about over. And this defense, they needed that one more stop to have any chance, but that completion, that's likely going to seal their fate. And you could hear it in your voice, that one more stop. I feel their pain. Oh, it was so important. They just didn't get it done. Come on, wow. What a way to finish this one off. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but if you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. And he can't corral it. Maybe a big missed opportunity there defensively in the end zone, and now third down. Now Mariota. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get him to fourth down. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. So Charles, I think from a defensive yep, perspective, so you have it, to so look at that field goal there and consider it a win. As y'all can see, win. guys, there wasn't no cheese in the touchdown. game. So Played the whole game, about. wasn't no fun to play. <clears> it was all based on physics. And it just, just played, played, played good. Okay, now, this one the easier games because we're playing the Texans, of course. But when you play elite teams, they play like elite players. Once they do take the big shot, you've got to worry on defense, of course. No one getting behind the defense. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Of Picked off that. here the 32. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Well, they needed the touchdown and the two-point conversion, but they're not going to get a shot at either. This is a great play here defensively, Brandon, and at a time that they sorely needed one. And that could be enough to help get them out of here with a victory. And it's incomplete. It's still throwing to the very end. But now this game is over. Well, I know it points to this when you wanted to close your eyes. Because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard. All right, so there you have folks. You need three for the game is forever. Ultimate Madden Tax coming soon. A couple days from when we release it to everybody. So that you guys can apply to, to your game and have a better game. Um, we're going to play an elite team versus an elite team. So y'all can see the difference versus this game and an elite team and so I think I'm gonna do like I don't know like uh Tom Brady and the boys against now I'm gonna do Philadelphia Eagles against um the Minnesota Vikings that's what I'm gonna do <clears throat> Eagles against the Vikings um that way we can go in and check and see how that see how that play out all right guys so hope you guys enjoyed all the all the videos if you haven't watched our other videos check it out and uh, so we'll see you on the inside. Like this partner, video, Charles comment, Davis, subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all your Madden news. All right, this talk to you later. Peace. Of the NFL on EA Sports. So long from Houston.